It's the biggest night of the year for people in the music industry, and this Sunday night on our sister station, KRQE News 13, we'll be watching the 53rd Annual Grammy Awards televised beginning at 7 p.m. And this morning, we are so pleased to welcome Ken Ehrlich, the executive producer of the Grammys and so many other fantastic music productions over the years that I've been a fan of. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure, Nikki. Good to talk to you. It's great to talk to you. And, of course, a really exciting year this year. Star-studded event that even includes, and I'm getting verklempt just thinking about it, Barbara. What is Barbara <laughs> singing? Uh, we don't say that. Okay, Let, it's let's a put surprise. It this, but I, tried. I But I will, I will tell you it's a song she's sung before. <laughs> oh, good one. I like how you got out of that one. That's great. But it is going to be a really remarkable uh, night for her, as well as Mick Jagger, who's performing for the first time ever at the Grammys. Yeah, he's never been on the show before. I've, I, I've been wanting him on the show for years. Uh, we did it actually. We did a, uh, our live remote from London years ago, where we gave the Stones a, a Lifetime Achievement Award that was presented by Eric Clapton. But it was four o'clock in the morning in London, and uh, mm. there was not a lot of sobriety on stage. <laughs> you know? Shocking! So, shocking. So we've been talking, you know, off and on ever since. And uh, as you know, this year Solomon Burke, a great R&B artist, mm -hmm. passed. And uh, he was a huge influence on Mick. And so uh, Mick thought it appropriate to come this year and honor Solomon. So it's going to be, it's a, it's a knockdown drag out, you know. I oh, mean, it's okay. going to be some segment. And then, and then it, you know, I mean, it's just everywhere. I mean, as you mentioned, Streisand, there's uh, Katy Perry, um, Justin Bieber performing with Usher. Mm. Um, uh, 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 Lady Annabellum has a great segment that they're doing. Uh, um, big year let me for look them. For a second. It's a big year for yeah, Lady Annabellum. Yeah, it's been a big year. And M and M is. I'm uh, sorry. Go and ahead. I was going to say a real big crossover year for a lot of the country artists because they've become so mainstream, and yeah. uh, I think that's going to be really exciting to see. Yeah, yeah, and and you know we always have a good sprinkling of country presenters that are coming on as well. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I was going to mention was uh, Eminem is uh, is not only performing with with Rihanna oh. and uh, nominated song, but there's a, there's a, another performance that he's doing that we haven't released yet. But I can <gasps> I, I I can tell you um, it's going to be pretty historic. Oh, I it love really it. Well, you were responsible for a lot of the historic duets we've seen over the years. I mean, I know that you did. You were in charge of the Prince and Beyonce one weren't wasn't that yours that was yeah, your creation was. yeah yeah oh, amazing uh you know it's again i think it's kind of come to be expected on our show mm -hmm. uh that we do take uh, we do go a little further and you know we we not only allow the artists to 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 stretch and do something that they might not have done before but we encourage it sure. and we think that we think that fans really get a kick out of that fans really get that you we know sure do. it's not just like watching um, a performance somewhere else where we, we do our hit and thank you very much we move on exactly. these are things that you know you're never going to see anywhere else you exactly. know you're going to see on this show well Eminem not only performing but also topping this year's list as far as nominations go with 10 correct yeah, he's, got a, he's having a big year. A, a big year. Big year. Yeah. Album of the Year nominees. Let's talk about some of those contenders real quickly as well. Well, um, uh, an album. Interesting. I mean, again, it's a, it's a big cross mix. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Arcade Fire, um, you know, alternative music has become so... It's not alternative anymore. Right. It's, it's pretty mainstream, and I love this band. I've I've watched them for several years. I think uh, it's really going to be an interesting year for them. Um, that that category just continues to be, you know, um, uh, uh, maybe one of the most interesting. Record is new artist. New artist is is Justin Bieber. It's sure. uh, it's Florence. Um, it's Drake. You know who's performing yep. with Rihanna, by the way. Oh, um, uh, Esperanza Spalding is in that category. You know, it's it's really a pretty good year uh, again representing a lot of different kinds of music sure. but, but it's all good absolutely CeeLo, bruno mars lots of amazing artists and i also understand a very sp special special performance was just added to the agenda with a celebration of the queen of soul with some powerhouse female artists can you tell us real quickly about that you bet i'm so excited about this we i i, I started talking to aretha around christmas time just basically to see how she was and and we had some really good conversations she's Aww. she's doing well Great. she's really feeling good she's talking about wanting to you know come out again 
again, and she says she will be singing again. And so I asked her if we could do this. She was. She said, "Yep, please go ahead." So it's Christina Aguilera, it's Jennifer Hudson, it's Martina McBride, it's Yolanda Adams, a great wow. gospel singer, and uh, Florence from Florence and the Machine, who, oh. if you haven't seen, is remarkable. These remarkable. are, you know, when you when you do a salute to. Uh, Aretha, you better make it with singers. Oh, yeah. You better bring the powerhouse vocalists for sure. And we yeah. know it's going to be an amazing, amazing show. So, Ken Ehrlich, thank you so much. Of course, the 53rd Annual Grammy Awards are this Sunday, starting at 7 on KRQE News 13. Thank you so much for joining us. And Thanks, have a Nikki. great show.